Black History Month, RTV6 is recognizing several organizations with deep roots in our community serving African Americans. Tonight, we give you a look at the history of Flanner House and their mission, helping Hoosiers help themselves. We can do all kinds of things in the shady thing. We can, we can make shapes. We can make the square shapes. For kids, Flanner House is a place to learn while having a whole lot of fun. This pre-K class at the Child Development Center is so important and popular, there's a waiting list to get in. Even while they're in dramatic play, they're still learning. Uh, social emotion, getting along with others, addressing themselves, pretend play. From Harriet Tubman from the Underground Railroad. For February, the kids will learn about black history as they are in an historic place. Flanner House dates back to 1898. It was founded by Frank Flanner, a local philanthropist and mortician, to be used by African Americans migrating from the south to the north. This was known as a settlement house. A resource, a way to acclimate themselves in the community, uh, and a way to start receiving the types of skills and training they needed to be productive citizens. Today, Flanner House has the same mission, with services helping kids plus senior care and an employment center. Wilbert Buckner is the executive director here. He says one of their programs, Skills to Success, helps people get back into the job market. What we're doing really is, is helping them to reinvent themselves around a new job, new career, a uh, new focus in their lives. Delbert Boyd was out of work looking for a job and needed to learn how to get a leg up. When I came to Flanner House, they redirected me as far as resume writing, um, life skills, mm -hmm. basically. Flanner House serves a vital role in the Indianapolis community, helping Hoosiers become independent and self-sufficient. Having gone through the program, I am now gainfully employed. <laughs> and Flanner House has outgrown their building on Dr. Martin Luther King Street because their programs are growing so much due to the great need in the community. So they're planning to do a capital campaign to expand.